Alright students, let's go ahead and now revise the chart of transportation services. Transportation services ka exemption, we are going to understand now. Everyone over here. We started learning GST with goods and service. Goods and service has to be supplied. Supply can be interstate or intrastate. Inter or intra, GST will be levied. Once GST was levied, GST has to be collected and paid by a taxable person. In between, government goes ahead and gave exemption by notification and today we are going to read all the exemptions which are relating to transportation everyone transportation related government have gone ahead and given exemption for passenger transportation also and government have given exemption with respect to goods transportation also everyone over here now whenever it is transportation services which are given for passenger transportation services with respect to passenger passenger transportation can be done by air road rail or water goods transportation also can be done by road rail water or air now let's go ahead and understand the first one which is relating to passenger transportation now passenger transportation a person can go ahead and do when the passenger might have some baggage or passenger might not have some baggage now passenger transportation with or without accompanied belonging whenever passenger transportation is done by air you always have to remember that air transportation air transportation means supposingly indigo airlines spice jet they are going ahead and doing transportation of passenger always remember one thing if the flight is basically embarking from if the flight is going to or flight is coming from means air transportation is happening from that place which is basically Bagdogra, Arunachal, Tripura, Manipur, Meghalaya, Mizoram, Assam, Nagaland and Sikkim. You have to remember if you are going to all these places or you are coming from these places, GST will not be charged on the transportation service which is provided to you. How do we remember it everyone? We have to remember that man sir batman's yes baba batman's always fly free you have to remember batman's means b for bagdogra a for arunachal pradesh n for b a t t for tripura m for meghalaya manipur mizoram a for assam n for nagaland s for sikkim batman's always fly free going to batman's coming from batman's will be exempted from gst then we have transportation of people passenger by road when passenger transportation is done by stage carriage stage carriage means your buses which are there which are going from one stop to another stop basically those are stage carriages if stage carriage ke through transportation is happening which is non-ac non-ac is always exempted government says if you can afford ac then you can afford gst also but non-ac is always exempted now if transportation is happening through contract carriage contract carriage means which is going from one point to another point under a contract basically so if i have gone ahead and booked a cab from my home to the airport it is from my home to the airport which is one point to another point and hence it is a contract carriage government is telling if a contract carriage is non-ac it is always exempted if it is ac ac is always taxable radio taxis are those taxis which are connected through a central GPS system in that scenario government is selling radio taxi AC non AC always taxable tourism ke liye, if you have taken a contract carriage taxable conduct tour ke liye, then also it is taxable charter or higher pay if you can take a contract carriage then also it is taxable then government went ahead and told metered cab auto rickshaw e rickshaw government told grip sir sir we can't go ahead and take GST from them so let let's go ahead and exempted and government told metered cab auto rickshaw e rickshaw ka case mein gst will not come so always you have to remember stage carriers non-ac was exempt contract carriers non-ac is exempt and sir others like metered cab auto rickshaw e rickshaw is also exempted but you have to remember one thing for your number 22 the amendment over here is stage carriers non-ac was exempted contract carriers non-ac was exempted metered cab auto rickshaw e rickshaw was exempted but this exemption will not apply now if these services are provided through e-commerce operator for an example supposingly ola is there one auto has been booked by one person through ola and ola will go ahead government is selling in this scenario might be the auto pay gst was exempted but because these services are provided through e-commerce operator under section number 95 it is now being notified the transportation of passenger through motor motor cab 
रेडियो टैक्सी मैक्सी कैब ओमनी बस मोटरसाइकिल और एनी अदर मोटर व्हीकल ऑल्सो द ई कॉमर्स ऑपरेटर विल कलेक्ट द जीएसटी एंड पेड टू द गवर्नमेंट हेन्स स्टेज कैरियर नॉन ए सी कॉन्ट्रैक्ट कैरियर नॉन ए सी मीटर्ड कैब ऑटो रिक्शा ई रिक्शा ऑल दिस सर्विसेज इफ बाय चांस आर प्रोवाइडेड थ्रू ई कॉमर्स ऑपरेटर ई कॉमर्स ऑपरेटर विल कलेक्ट द जीएसटी एंड पेड टू द गवर्नमेंट इट विल नो मोर बी अंडर exemption so you remember exemption is not applicable if services are supplied through e commerce operator under section number 95 then we have railway ke through transportation if it is happening through metro monorail tramway then always government told exemption railway may indian railway ke through if transportation is happening and it is non ac then always exempted first class ac non ac doesn't matter first class and ac is always taxable then we have what the, the waterways in india in india one is the river route which is the inland waterways government says rivers use how much ever you want because rivers may there is no traffic you will avoid traffic also you will not create congestion in the road government is selling very good use waterways will not charge any gst gst will be exempted but if it is vessel that is sea route supposingly this is the sea and sea ka case mein coastal transportation is happening of passenger basically public transportation by sea then it is exempted tourism is always taxable and sir transportation outside india is always taxable what did i go ahead and tell you i went ahead and told you transportation of passenger if it is happening by air going to bagdogra coming from bagdogra sorry not going to batman coming from batman is always exempted road transportation stage carriers non ac exempt contract carriers non ac exempt sir metered cab auto rickshaw e rickshaw is exempted but this exemptions in all the three stage carriers contract carriers or metered cab maxi metered cab uh, auto rickshaw e rickshaw will not apply if the service are supplied through e commerce operator this is the amendment for your number 22 then sir then if it is rail transportation monorail metro rail and tramway is always exempt if it is indian railway non ac is exempt ac or first class is always taxable waterways inland waterways inland waterways anything you do whatever it is exempt but c if you are using vessel transportation public transportation is exempt tourism going outside india public transportation outside india always remember transportation will be taxable now we have to come to goods ka transportation goods ka transportation if you go ahead and see by air always remember goods transportation by air domestic is always taxable so domestic is always taxable even if you go ahead and say relief material agricultural produce still taxable always remember air transportation domestic is always taxable then air transportation international going from outside india to india from outside india if you are coming into india if goods are so not you if goods are coming from outside india into india air transportation is always exempt from india if air transportation is happening of goods to outside india then it is exempted up to 30th of september 2022 then sir if water transportation of goods is happening inland waterways government is selling use the rivers as much as you want it will always be exempted but vessel transportation you always have to remember vessel transportation of goods so if one coast to another coast within india baba coastal transportation is always within india you have to remember coastal transportation is always within india because it is one coast in india to another coast always remember if coastal transportation is happening it is always taxable it is always taxable of goods if anyone is doing coastal transportation it is always taxable but it is exempted if it is random item sir what do you mean by random item relief material agricultural produce newspapers and magazines which are registered remember newspapers and magazines which are registered and then defense or military equipment organic manure milk salt food grains flour pulses and rice what did i tell you relief material random item relief material agricultural produce newspaper and magazine which are registered defense and military equipment organic manure milk salt food grains flour pulses and rice in the exam they will tell you newspaper and magazine not registered they will tell you then No. it is not exempted it is taxable in the exam they will tell you out of the flour biscuits are made and biscuits are transported baba that is taxable can i go ahead everyone so remember one thing coastal transportation that is within india if it is happening from one coast to another coast 
then it is taxable but exempted in case of random item plus Remember, railway material or railway equipment are also exempted if they are transported. Coastal transportation of railway material or railway equipment is done. Can I go ahead everyone? Railway material or railway equipment, coastal transportation is also exempted. Then Baba, always remember, vessel transportation, international, international from India, if it is going outside India, goods being transported by a vessel, ship from India, outside India, it is exempt up to 30th September 2000. 22, but if international transport, that is goods are being transported from outside India into India, if it's a foreign shipping company, then it's always taxable, remember, okay? Foreign shipping company in the case, may importer will pay the GST under RCM. If it is Indian shipping company, I will go ahead and have to pay, means Indian shipping company will collect the GST under forward charge mechanism. Always remember one thing, international transportation from India, outside India is exempt. From outside India into India, if a foreign shipping company is doing the transportation, they will not go ahead and charge GST. So, you as an importer will have to pay GST under RCM. But if Indian shipping company is there, they will charge you the GST under forward charge mechanism. The next one over here is real ka case may if goods transportation is happening. Always remember it is always taxable, but it will be exempted in case of random item plus railway equipment and railway material. Sir, rail ka case mein taxable in case of random item. What is random item everyone? Relief material, agricultural produce, newspaper and magazine which are registered, defense, defense and military equipment, organic manure, milk, salt, food grain, pulses, rice. Right everyone? And anything else was there? Huh, done, flour. And railway equipment and material transported through rail will also be exempted now road transportation which is there road transportation can happen of courier also courier is being transported door to door services always taxable sir if any other person is there individual truck wala tempo operator card bullock card then it is exempted but road transportation done by a gta is always taxable always remember one thing if gta is going ahead and giving service gta is going ahead and giving services to fb scoop always remember sir unregistered person under gst i am talking about unregistered person under gst factory which is registered under factories act body corporate which is incorporated under their act society which is registered cooperative society which is incorporated or registered under a law or a partnership firm registered or unregistered including an aop plus llp then always remember in this scenario G it is always taxable under reverse charge or forward charge Correct everyone, GTA is re opting for 5% then reverse charge, GTA is opting for 12% then forward charge. Sir, here also it is taxable, taxable, taxable and taxable. If unregistered person is an unregistered person who is CTP, then it is exempted. If it is unregistered person who is other unregistered person, then also it is exempted. Now you have to remember if GTA is providing to a registered person under GST, if that registered person is a TDS deductor who is a sir, department of central government, state government, local authority or governmental agency, then sir it will be exempted. But TDS deductor, if he is notified category of TDS deductor, then it will always be taxable. Then if GTA is providing to a registered person who is other registered person, then also it will be taxable so always remember gta services are always taxable taxable if provided to an unregistered person who is fb scoop plus registered person but registered person is the department of central government state government local authority exemption will apply exemption will also apply if it's an unregistered person or unregistered c unregistered person or unregistered ctp then the exemption will apply also the exemption to the gta will apply if it is Random item, relief material, agricultural produce, newspapers and magazine, defense and military equipment, organic manure, milk, salt, food grains, pulses, flour and rice. You will have to talk with me, only then you will remember. Next, sir, now here relief mat uh, railway material and railway equipment is not there. Then GTA ka case may it will be exempted if GTA has gone ahead and charged for a single carriage, 1500. So full truck ke liye if GTA has gone ahead and charged. 1500 or might be if one truck may two three people go i am sending the goods and per person they have charged up to 750 then also it will be exempted right everyone now 
they have gone ahead and told sir here entry number 61 is also there which goes ahead and says so good transportation i am done everyone good transportation i went ahead and told you by air always remember domestic taxable international exempted okay then water transportation inland waterways exempted then internet see if you are using in case of sea coastal transportation is taxable random item the railway equipment and material exempted sir if it is sea transportation which is international transportation from outside india into india taxable under reverse charge indian shipping company forward charge from india outside india is always exempted then everyone then if it is rail transportation taxable rail transportation of goods which are random item plus railway material and equipment exempted road transportation sir individual truck wala card bullock card exempted gta i have told you always taxable but gta ka case mein you have to remember if the unregistered person is a b scoop plus registered person then it is always taxable registered person if he is tds deductor baba tds deductor department of central government state government local authority or governmental agency exempted if it is sir unregistered person or unregistered ctp then also exempted random item then also exempted sir if they are going ahead and charging for a single carrier is 1500 then exempted single consignee 750 then also exempted right everyone got it till here courier is always taxable courier is always taxable then entry number 61 a comes over here which says this truck operators who are there basically goods carriers yes, they are given national permit or permit to operate in contiguous state contiguous state means when one state around states are there which are sharing the common border with this state this state when it is issuing the permit it will give the permit for contiguous states also that is known as permit to operate in contiguous state so it is telling when granting of national permit to goods carriers to operate throughout india or contiguous state may government is granting the permit and it will be exempted always remember the exemption is given with respect to goods carriage if the transportation relay if supposingly one passenger transportation vehicle is given national permit that will always be taxable baba goods carriage is exempt can we go ahead everyone now on the left hand side if you see airlines airlines are told by the central government that you transport people to the regional connectivity airport if you go to the regional connectivity airport government told will give you funding so basically all these airlines are going to regional connectivity airport they are giving services to the government by going to those areas they told sir it is not viable to go to the, those areas government told you go to those areas i will give you funding and when government gives the funding there will be no gst but it is only for the first three years sir it says transportation services are given to the government under regional connectivity scheme and government is going ahead and giving what viability gap funding it is exempt for the first three years then sir services associated with transit cargo relating to nepal and bhutan so supposingly cargo has come to india in a ship cargo has come to india and this will be sent by one person to nepal and bhutan this person is giving transit cargo related service now the day please person who is there he will be not be able to take itc of the gst charge hence government went ahead and told there will be no gst now if you come down i have gone ahead and written entry number 22 entry number 22 goes ahead and says giving on hire to a state transport undertaking so if one person is going ahead and giving one motor vehicle to state transport undertaking where passenger can be transported greater than 12 then giving on motor vehicle to a state transport undertaking will be exempted from gst if i go ahead and give to local authority an electric vehicle to carry passenger greater than 12 then that will also be exempted if i am going ahead and giving on hire or i am renting out motor vehicle for transportation of goods to a gta if you are giving to a gta a motor vehicle basically a truck etc then also it will be so if you are giving a motor vehicle to a gta then also exempted electric vehicle for passenger greater than 12 to a local authority then also exempted sir motor vehicle for passenger greater than 12 to a state transport undertaking then also it is exempted right everyone baba when you are going ahead and reading entry number 22 in your book there is one more point over there which is told that sir if you are going ahead and giving motor vehicle for transportation of student faculty and staff to one person who is going ahead and giving transportation of student faculty and staff ka services to a school 
up to 12th then baba because his services are exempted when you are going ahead and giving him motor vehicle for carrying the student faculty and staff your service will also be <coughs> exempted are we clear everyone yes sir let's go ahead everyone over here now entry number 19c what is entry number 19c telling satellite launch services which are given by whom Antrix Corporation, ISRO or New Space India Limited, NSIL is also exempted from GST. Right everyone, I, am go I have gone ahead and explained to you all the transportation related service. One point which I want to tell you again, amendment is there, stage carriers non-AC, contract carriers non-AC, metered cap, auto rickshaw, e rickshaw were exempted from GST. But now, all these people, if they are going ahead and supplying their services through e-commerce, e-commerce has been made liable under section number 95. E-commerce will collect the GST and pay it to the government. I will go ahead and close my revision on the transportation services. Over here, everyone. Bye, guys. Take care.